Hey there, good people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'll be doing a morning thoughts episode today and I've just done one review uh, on a particular perfume from House of Armov. Please check it out. It's called Armov Club Du Intense Man, perfume version. But I didn't feel like doing that many more reviews. Just want to talk about something a little bit important, you know, like regarding fragrance game right now, what's upcoming, what to expect. And uh, I got some news for you. Like, of course, we all have news. Maybe you already know this information, but I'd like to share with you. Okay, so my scent of the morning, while I was doing the review, I reached for this one, my brand new purchase from House of Lacoste, Lacoste Lom. I think this is called Timeless. And this is a th third flanker, I think. I do have the Lacoste Lom, Lacoste Lom Intense. I think both the fragrance are fantastic, rhubarb based perfume. So I got like a cute little 50 ml, which I'll review soon. Okay. That's just let me refresh it a little bit, you know, like refresh myself a little bit. This is not very beast mode perfume. You can always refresh and wear a lot of it. Uh, it's not gonna bother you. Really nice. I get. Uh, kind of like a fruity blast. I'll talk about it when I review. So hopefully you're doing good. And uh, today I think is the first semi-final if you follow cricket uh, between Pakistan and I think England, right? England playing Pakistan. Australia is playing. No, so not Australia. Uh, who else is playing? Man, <laughs> I think it's uh, India, Pakistan. Oh, New Zealand. Yeah, India is playing New Zealand. Both games going to be really, really good. I wish all the teams all the very best. And if you're a cricket lover, all the best. Uh, I'll take a nap after doing these videos uploading and then I'll watch the game. So I want to talk about a few important things. I don't want to get too long, but uh, want to warn you a little bit about fragrance game and how the world situation right now is affecting the perfume game. We, I got this information from the sellers and distributors who are bringing perfumes in to our country. So they obviously have the best information because they do uh, business Dubai based, Middle Eastern and then USA, UK. So they have uh, suppliers from every country, but mostly perfumes coming from, they're coming from Middle Eastern countries like Dubai, UAE. Okay. So uh, some of the information that I got are a bit worrying. Nowadays, first thing we are noticing in Bangladesh, uh, all the fragrances have gone so expensive. I have said this before. And uh, when I say expensive, it's expensive okay designer perfumes are getting niche prices the cheap is gonna be like a little bit five ten dollars more uh i am stocking up few perfumes that I'm, I'm fearing that they're gonna go much higher in price you can still get them for a good deal like fragrance like mont blanc individual or hugo boss bottle after this year ends i believe um, for many reasons fragrance is gonna go very very expensive okay bentley for many intense for example or some of the other fragrances like that you could buy for budget, not take a voyage. I think they're going to go really high. And why is that? Because the war, okay? And it's affecting every single country uh, because of it's linked, you know? People's, uh, the economy is linked. World is like a whole, like a hut, you know, like big village or something. So if one, two countries are having issues, you know, like conflicts. So basically what happens is it affects the economy, oil supply, this and that currency, dollars, you know, the reserve. So our country is having some, already having some economic crisis due to also corruption. But I'm pretty sure every country is going through that crunch time. This upcoming winter, I heard in Europe, uh, it's going to be really a big um, crisis for fuel. Okay, like people to stay warm, they're going to use the wooden logs like they used to use, like think, uh, I don't know what they used to use, maybe gas or something, but now. Uh, they're going to use the natural uh, resources. So they're chopping down trees, deforestation, a lot of negative things going to happen. And we're already seeing um, the weather, you know, all over the world, like climate change, you know. So somewhere we used to have nice little winter, cold weathers. Now it is not much of it. Many countries seeing floods. Some countries are seeing like, you know, no rain, absolutely very hot and humid. So whatever you used to experience now has changed over the course of last six, seven years, it's all our doing. So believe it or not, it's human error, okay? Any human fault. So what does it do to our perfume game? Don't worry about those big things. Let's focus very particularly on this micro uh, subject, that is why fragrances are going expensive. Due to the war, the resources, and the cost of making perfumes have gone high in Europe. They used to make, they still do make perfumes in Europe, but mostly, uh, now they have shortage of supply let's say ingredients like ambergris and a lot of these other resources which are used to make perfumes so they have gone high in the market and the thing is when you have more ex expensive ingredients obviously like putting like together a product like let's say you're making a car right assembling car let's say the exhaust costs more engine costs more every uh, different company they're charging you more okay 
the car is going to cost you more. That's the simple idea. And this is exactly what's happening. You know, I heard it long time back. Now it is we're having shortage of perfumes in market. Uh, every single shop that I went uh, at different times, they don't have any new stock. They cannot import because Bangladesh, uh, I think nowadays they don't have that. There's used to open LC. I don't know the whole process, but uh, without opening an LC, you cannot purchase perfume. So very soon, uh, people won't be able to import fragrances here. If they do, they have to do direct, okay? Like airflow or airplane, that's going to cost you lots, so much more money because when the lots come in a small, small lots, like one to two piece, they're going to cost you more money. If they came in like boxes, big cartons or containers, they would be more affordable. That's the whole idea. So basically, nowadays, a lot of people are selling off their perfumes, you know, in our community and groups. And I would say it's a wise decision if you're not into this game and you are taking this as a business, but you are already seeing losses. Uh, I'm seeing losses. I'm the oldest page in Bangladesh for decanting and uh, my page is already lost. We have lost I mean, not we, I have lost half my business or more. So whatever I'm doing, it's not really paying off, okay, that much. Um, but thing is, sometimes I think of quitting, sometimes I think of selling off half my collection and cash in because nowadays we are having problems with our banks. They don't have reserve. They're selling gold and stuff to get cash. Um, man, it's, it's already, we're seeing very horrible economic situations. So I'm just telling you overall, not just perfumes. Very soon, someone told me, uh, one of the sellers that you will not be able to even find any perfumes in any of the shops why because if the import stops they're not going to have stock a uh, new stock when the current stock runs out people obviously will still buy some people don't have issue with money or uh, money issue or they're well wealthy so imagine they bought all the perfumes from all the shops and they don't bring any new like new um, batches or new perfumes and what's going to happen? You're not going to have any perfumes in any store. The ones that you're going to have, people are going to increase the prices like crazy. In our daily necessity like rice, this and that, sugar, salt, everything is increasing by the day. Ek, one taka, not ek. Ek is Bengali. Uh, like, it's like crazy, you know. Like, I'll just give you an example. It's a cheap thing. Like, let's say some of our chips, like, you know, like you call it crackers or crisps, you know, different countries, right? Let's say uh, your Lay's or I don't know what else is there, Pringles. Imagine it used to be 10 taka hour. We used to have one, we have one uh, chips or crisp called potato crackers. That used to cost like 10 taka. I think now it's like 15 taka. So you may not feel it like, hey, five taka is like cheap. You know, it's like nothing. 10 cent to 15 cent, who cares? But some people, you know, like Middle Easter, not Middle Eastern, middle class or lower middle class, they are suffering in the market because to just buy daily necessity goods, they are struggling, you know, to pay high rent and then feeding the children, education, everything is the transportation, uh, fuel costs went high, everything is crazy expensive and they're just soaring high. So we are already seeing economic crisis and we may not believe it, but it's already here. So I'll tell you the warning I want to tell you. If you're in fragrance game for doing business, you think like, hey, I'm going to be investing. I'm going to make so much more money. You can do two things, okay? You can keep your vintage bottles or intact ones for those crunch time. You can sell them later for much higher profit. It sounds evil, but it is business, okay? Or if you're afraid that this is your investment and you maybe you don't know what's going to happen, I would suggest you sell off your perfumes because uh, in future time, people may not have the money to buy perfumes. So then actually you have to sell them for loss or very, very cheap price. So we do not know what's going to happen prediction. But my prediction is uh, if you're doing business and you are serious about your business, you'll survive if your strategy is right, pricing, placement, and you already have a loyal customer base. Maybe business will go a little bit fluctuating down. Sometimes sales will fall, but then it will go up eventually. This is how business works all year round. No, nowhere it's like always high, okay? So ultimately, the fragrance game, it's a lot of passion, a lot of love. People do. I know a lot of our community members, they're really energetic. They're doing vlogs. They're doing videos. They're doing written reviews. But at one point, the crunch time, if you're facing economic crisis, trust me, your passion may go away. Okay. So be prepared. If you have some good collection, it's already investment-like, right? If you have some, uh, let's say, intact bottles with you, there can be like a good investment, like, you know, uh, you can sell them later if you need urgent money. But if you're doing small business like decanting and you already invested like 100 perfumes or 50, you know your huge money is invested there, right? So be careful uh, because if your business is not doing well, like continuous three months, two months, 
then maybe time to rethink your business strategy. So yeah, uh, this is a bit serious talk. I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to scare you or anything, but things can go really bad real fast, okay? So wherever you are, I'm not, not just talking about Bangladesh. I'm pretty sure everywhere people are suffering from a little bit of economic crisis in every single country, uh, unemployment, uh, pay cut, people are getting fired and everything. It's like life is not doing any, any favors, right? So if you already have a good uh, income source, make sure maybe open another line of work or something as an alternative so you have two, three channels of money coming to you. So the basic thing is survival first, and then we go for luxury. So right now at this current moment, yeah, people are still enjoying perfume games, but many people quit our community because they cannot afford this game no more. And it doesn't pay off. You just put a cent of the day, people say thumbs up, love. It doesn't really do anything else, right? So if you're not in this game for passion, my last point, sorry, if you're not in this game for real love and passion, What's going to happen is you're going to see this as a business investment and later you'll find, nah, this is not happening for me. I'm not happy about this game. It sucks. So that's going to be very sad. I never feel fragrance game sucks. All right. But yeah, right now, everywhere, business is very depressing. I go to the shops. People go like, brother, we have no sales, no customer coming and uh, we have perfumes. The price have gone high. What are you going to do? Because we are purchasing with higher price. We cannot sell for much cheaper. Let's say they have to make profit as well, right? So yeah, if you want to stock uh, on fragrances and some of the perfumes you want to do, get backup bottles, get them right now, okay? Uh, it's expensive right now, but it's going to get so much more expensive. Like I want to get a Durham Intense backup bottle, not getting it for a good price anymore, okay? So making me a little bit sad, but then you know what you're going to do, right? So thank you very much for watching and thanks very much for listening. It's a little bit of concern for all of us uh, for difficult times. We have gone through COVID. If you can beat that, we can beat anything else, right? So uh be strong, be smart, and uh, make very wise investment. And the way you spend, maybe cut down on expenses that are not necessary. Like let's say you're wasting you know, extra money here and there, uh, stuff that you don't need, don't buy. Buy fuel, buy food, buy clothing, and buy a stock of you know, whatever you need, medication and stuff. That's necessity first, right? Thank you so much. Love you all. And thanks for all the love and support that you give me. That's what makes me go very, very far. And uh, I just want to do videos every day for you guys because you are watching me. And uh, take care. Have a nice day. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.